In this video, we're going to focus on the 45-45-90 triangle. Now, it's important that you understand how to use this triangle so that it can help you solve other triangles or other similar triangles. This technique is especially useful if you're studying for the SAT or the ACT exam. So let me give you the 45-45-90 reference triangle. The first thing you need to know is that it's a right triangle and two sides of the triangle are the same. So let's say if one side is 1, the other is going to be 1, and the hypotenuse is going to be this number times the square root of 2, or simply square root 2. Now let's say if you have the side across the 45 degree angle, and you want to find the side across the 90 degree angle, which is the hypotenuse, all you need to do is multiply by the square root of 2. If you have the side that's across the 90 degree angle, and you want to calculate the length of the side across the 45 degree angle, you need to divide by the square root of 2. So I'm going to put this into practice and show you how to apply this information. So consider this right triangle, and you're given the length of one of the legs of the right triangle. Find the missing two sides. Well, we know this is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So these two sides have to be the same. So if the bottom leg is 8, the other one is 8. Now to find the hypotenuse, which is always the longer side, we have to multiply this side by the square root of 2. So this is going to be 8 square root 2. So based on that example, feel free to pause the video and try this example. Go ahead and find the missing sides. So the other side is 12 units long, and the hypotenuse is going to be this number times the square root of 2. So it's 12 root 2. Now go ahead and try these two examples. So let's say that this side is 5 square root 2, and here's another one. And let's say this side is 7 square root 2. So we know the other missing side has to be the same. That's not going to change. Now let's find the hypotenuse of the first triangle. So we got to multiply by square root 2 if we want to find the length of the hypotenuse. So the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. And 5 times 2 is 10. So the hypotenuse is 10 units long. And it's very easy to find the missing side if you understand this particular special reference triangle. So let's do the same thing for this one. So if we multiply 7 square root 2 by the square root 2, this is going to be 7 times 2, which ends up being 14. So let me give you some other examples. Let's change it up a little. So this time, you're given the hypotenuse. Go ahead and find the value of the missing sides of these two triangles. Now this time, we have this side across the 90 degree angle, which is basically the hypotenuse. And we want to find the side across the 45 degree angle. So we're looking for the value of the shorter side. So we need to divide by the square root of 2. So if we take the hypotenuse, 13 square root 2, and divide it by the square root 2, and these two will cancel, and we're just going to get 13. So the length of these two sides is 13. Now, if we do the same thing for the example on the right, if we take 6 square root 2 divided by that, well, that's going to give us 6. And so that's how we could easily find the value of the missing side. So consider these two examples. So let's say this time the hypotenuse is 10, and for this one it's, let's say, 15. Go ahead and calculate the value of the missing sides. So we know if we're given the hypotenuse, to find the legs of the triangle, we got to divide by the square root of 2. So 10 divided by the square root of 2 is something that we need to rationalize. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. 
So on top, we're going to have 10 square root 2. And on the bottom, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And so we could divide 10 by 2, which will give us 5. So this is going to be 5 square root 2 and 5 square root 2. Now let's do the same thing for the other triangle. So first, let's take the hypotenuse and divide it by the square root of 2. And then let's rationalize the denominator. So in the numerator, we're going to have 15 times the square root of 2. In the denominator, we're just going to have 2. Now, we can't really reduce 15 over 2. I mean, you could write it as 7.5. Or you could just leave it as 15 square root 2 over 2. And so now you know how to solve a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. But now let's consider a practice problem that you might see on an SAT exam. Let's see how we can put this information to good use. Segment AC is 16 units long. B is the center of the circle. What is the area of triangle ABC in the figure shown below? Now feel free to take a few minutes, pause the video, and see if you can find the answer to this problem. Now what kind of triangle do we have? Is it a 30-60-90 triangle or is it a 45-45-90 triangle? Since this whole video is about 45-45-90 triangles, we know that's going to be the case. But how can we be sure that it is a 45-45-90 triangle? Now, whenever you have a 45-45-90 triangle, it's important to know that the sides across the 45 angles will be equal. What we have is an isosceles right triangle. And the reason why we know it's equal is because the triangle is on the circle. B is the center of the circle. The distance between the center of a circle and any point on a circle is known as the radius. So AB is the radius of the circle and BC is the radius of the circle, which means that those two sides must be equal to each other. And so that's how we know we have a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. So once we know that, we could find the missing sides of the right triangle. Now we know the hypotenuse, segment AC, is 16 units long. Now to find the other sides, we're going from the hypotenuse, the side across the 90, to the side across the 45. So we got to divide by the square root of 2. So 16 divided by the square root of 2, we need to rationalize the denominator. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. So it's 16 root 2, and the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 is 2. And then we need to divide 16 by 2 to get 8 square root 2. So segment BC and AB is equal to 8 square root 2. So now that we have the base and the height of the right triangle, we can now calculate the area of that triangle. So the area is 1 half base times height. So this is the base of the triangle, this is the height. So it's going to be 1 half. We have a base of 8 square root 2 and a height of 8 square root 2. So first, let's multiply 8 by 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Next, Let's multiply the square root of 2 times the square root of 2, which we know to be 2. Now, 1 half times 2 is 1, so we could cancel those two. So the area of triangle ABC is 64 square units in value. So this is the answer to the problem. So that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you found it to be useful. Now you may want to check out my next video on 30, 60, 90 special right triangles. So I'm going to have some problems like this one, which can help you for the SAT and the ACT exam, at least the math sections for those exams. So just keep this in mind. Whenever you're dealing with a 45, 45, 90 triangle, if you have the side across the 45 and you want to find the side across the 90 or the hypotenuse, multiply by the square root of 2. And if you have the hypotenuse and you want to find the length of the legs of the triangle, or basically the side length across the 45 degree angle, divide by the square root of 2. If you remember this, you can mentally find the answer in your head. It can save you a lot of time 
especially when you're taking the SAT exam because you got to get the answers quickly. You can't waste time. So thanks again for watching this video.